Welcome to APHIS eFile. This video is going to walk you through how to set up your eFile account. We strongly recommend you watch the entire video. Each individual who logs into eFile will need their own USDA eAuthentication username and password. To get eAuthenticated, go to the website displayed on the screen and create an account. eAuthentication usernames and passwords are used to do online business with USDA and are used to log into many USDA online services, including APHIS eFile. The website also has a list of frequently asked questions and guides regarding USDA eAuthentication. Once you have obtained your eAuthentication, go to eFile.aphis.usda.gov and click Sign In, Sign Up. We recommend accessing eFile through Google Chrome. You can also use Safari or Microsoft Edge but please do not use Internet Explorer. You may run into some issues trying to access eFile through Internet Explorer. If you do encounter issues with Safari, Firefox, or Edge, try Chrome before contacting USDA for support. Log in using your eAuthentication username and password. After you've logged in, the screen will reload and you should see the welcome message. Click Get Started. The contact details on the screen are from your eAuthentication account. If these details are incorrect or not the details you would like to later display on your applications, select Edit and make the necessary changes. When you're done editing, select Confirm Contact Details to proceed. Next, you'll select your eFile account type. Here, you will have several options to choose from. The card on the far left reads, I work alone and do not share applications, registrations, permits, or licenses with other eFile users. Select this option if you would like an individual account in the system. This means that you do not intend to share or collaborate on eFile data with anyone else in the system. If you later change your mind, you can always create an eFile organization sharing account. The second card reads, I work with others sharing and managing applications, registrations, permits, or licenses with other APHIS eFile users in an organization. Select this option if you would like an eFile organization sharing account. These accounts allow you to share eFile data with other individuals in your eFile account who also log into the system. This is an excellent option if you and others within your company need to access the same e-file data. The third and fourth options are for federal and state USDA employees. These options are for reviewers, not applicants. Unless you are a state or federal partner, do not select these options. Once you've made your selection, confirm your account type to proceed. In the rest of the video, I'm going to complete the process from both an individual account and organization sharing account selection perspectives. First, let's imagine I selected an individual account. When I continue forward, I'll see a screen where I can add organization details to my profile. If you'd like to associate your organization information with your account, select Edit Organization Details. Although you can enter organization details, this account type does not allow sharing of data with other eFile users. This is simply listing your organization or company name within the system. If you are not applying on behalf of an organization, you can skip this part and select confirm to continue. When you see this screen, that means your individual account has been set up. You can proceed to submit applications. Now, let's imagine I selected an organization sharing account. When I continue forward, I will see a screen where I can either create a new shared account or join an existing APHIS eFile sharing account. To join an existing account, enter the eFile organization number in the field and then select verify. The unique ID is a six digit number automatically generated by APHIS eFile when your colleague created the sharing account. The unique ID is not the same as the ePermits unique ID. Your colleague who created the sharing account will have to share the unique ID with you separately 
outside of AFIS eFile. And USDA administrators cannot share this ID or create one for you. After entering the ID, a request will be sent to your colleague to grant you access to the account. Your setup process is complete. To create a new account, click the Create a New Shared Account button and enter your organization's details. When you're done, confirm to continue. You next have the option to invite other individuals to join your sharing account. If the individuals you'd like to invite have e-authentication usernames and passwords, enter their information and the email associated with their e-authentication. and then select Add Team Member. Repeat this process to add multiple team members. Then select I'm done adding emails. These individuals will receive an email with information on how they can join your account. Please note their invitation will expire after eight days. If your team members do not have e-authentication yet, or you aren't sure, you can skip this step and add them later on your My Profile page. This next screen outlines the activities and responsibilities of you, the organization administrator. Select the checkbox to confirm you have read and understood, and then continue. When you see this screen, your sharing organization account request has been submitted to AFIS. It will take up to 25 minutes for the account to be processed and fully set up. When this happens, you will receive an email notifying you. Please wait for your organization account to be fully processed before applying. Congrats, you have successfully set up your eFile account. If you'd like to see a few more tips regarding eFile accounts, please continue watching. To manage your eFile account, go to My Profile and click Associated Organizations. If you originally created an individual account and would like to create an organization sharing account, or you would simply like to create another organization sharing account, you can do so by selecting Create Organization. If you already have a sharing account, here you'll be able to invite new members, remove members, create subdivisions, promote others to organization administrators, and more. This is your eFile organization ID. You can provide this number to other individuals to use if you wish them to join your sharing account. If you created a sharing account, you'll notice you also have an individual account, typically denoted with your first name, last name, and then account. Although you selected an organization sharing account, you will also automatically get an individual account. You can use this account to apply if you do not wish to share the data with anyone else. When you start a new application, you'll be prompted to select the e-file account you'd like to share the application and, if applicable, the resulting permit with. If you need to change the eFile account after you've submitted, go to the My Activity page, find the data you want to move, 
Click Change Organization and select the new account you'd like to move this data to. Everyone in the account will be able to view and edit this data. This action only moves this one piece of data, but it's important that you move all other related data. For example, if you moved the permit to a new account, you also need to move the related application, and so on. If you do not move all related data, you may run into issues amending or renewing in the future. More helpful resources can be found on our APHIS eFile training website displayed below and linked in the video description. Thank you for watching.